What's up guys, my name is Josh Washburn and Washburn Fabco and today I'm going to be going over this Yes Welder MiG 250 Pro multi-process welding machine. So I bought this machine about 10 months ago or so. Um, I bought it because my Lincoln 210 MP burned up on me on, on a mobile job. I was about an hour and 20 minutes away from home. Um, I needed something quick. Amazon Prime had it here in two days. That was quick enough for me. I was recommended the S Weller brand by my cousin out in New Mexico. He does a lot of dairy work, maintenance and welding out there. It's turned out to be a good machine. So back in January, I believe it was actually New Year's Eve, um, Sacramento area flooded a lot. And my shop got about four inches of water in it. And when I got the call to come out here, um, this welder was underwater four inches. So it had water all inside of it. So I left it to sit, dry out, didn't use it for about a month and a half or so. Um, plugged it in and it worked completely fine. That was the first thing that really caught me off guard. I figured it was gone. Here's the machine. It's got a clean look to it, especially for its price. It has a Euro Connection style MIG whip. These are replaceable and Yes Welder themselves does sell an upgrade for this. I am going to purchase that and try it out. I'll probably do a review on that to see if it's worth the 100 bucks or not. The whip on this machine is on the cheap side. That's what you're going to see with any machine in this price range. The cool thing about it is that the consumables are Lincoln and Tweedco, so you could find them at your local welding supply pretty easily. It comes with a total of four drive rolls. So you have a two-sided drive roll that's for flux core. You have a U-drive roll, which is for aluminum. And this machine does come with a graphite liner, which is for aluminum. I have not tried it yet, but when I do, I'll make another video. And then it has two double-sided drive rolls for regular MIG wire, hard wire. The inside of this machine is set up pretty user-friendly, and it looks pretty clean. It does run large spools and small spools, and it is spool gun compatible. There's a switch here, and there's also a connection in the front for the brain cable. Some of the Yes Welders come with a adapter plug so that you can use 110 and 220. This machine is a straight 220 machine. For modes on this machine, you're going to have standard MIG, Synergy mode, which is an auto adjust settings to wire feed speed. I typically don't use this mode ever. I don't like the settings that any machine I've ever tried with this mode has, so I just stay away from it. It has stick welding, and it did come with an electrode holder and lift arc TIG. It does have an inching button to feed wire through your whip. Here's your voltage adjustment. Click it twice, you have your wire feed speed to change. Down here at the wire select, it'll select your size wire. I always run 035. And on material, you will have flux, aluminum, 100% CO2, and a CO2 argon mix. From the main menu setting, you're going to have the inductance, a two-step, four-step trigger, a hot start, a run-in, and a burn-back setting. So I got some scrap here, we're going to do some testing on it, it's 3 8 plate, I'm going to be running at 22 volts and 7.3 meters per minute. So from these welds here, I think it's evident to say that if you're just starting out, you don't need to go out of your way and buy a Lincoln or Miller machine that's going to cost 
five times or more of what a machine like the ES welder is going to cost. I don't really see a, much of a difference in the welds. I think the arc is as stable as a Lincoln or a Miller. Um, just my opinion. There's probably other people that are going to say it's, it's a way different arc. I think it's pretty close to the same, as long as you get your settings right. In conclusion, I think this Yes Welder 250 Pro MIG multi-process welding machine is a great choice for people on a budget and it's one of the best machines you're going to get around the price range of $500. If you're looking to purchase this Yes Welder 250 Pro or a different Yes Welder, I have a coupon code, Washburn Fabco at checkout, and it'll also be a link in the description. If you stayed this long, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.